Hi, this is Morak Dice, back with an all-new Let's Play. Um, yeah, uh, before I even start, I'm going to warn you ahead of time that this game is extremely gory and is not meant for children. Also, there's some cursing, and I think some raunchiness. Ugh. I love when it does this. I need to like test it every single time or else it won't run. Ugh, or it just won't run. Finally, Jesus Christ. This game was buggy back when I had it, but even now it's still buggy as all hell. I'm introducing blood with plasma pack. Everybody loves somebody sometime. Not me, baby. And we're gonna start with the way of all flesh. I live again. Now I'm gonna warn you ahead of time as well that I'm going to be dying a lot in this game. They did not make it in any way, shape, or form easy. On top of that, I can't use a controller, so I have to use keyboard and mouse. Um, which, I don't mind using keyboard and mouse, but... I don't know. See, look at all that. Copious amounts of gore. Punch your head. Yeah, one of the things <clears throat> that made this game famous is punting heads. But... Yeah, it also will probably be a lot more disjointed looking. Just because I have to use keyboard and mouse. Da -da -da, that's all, folks. Oh, come on. Um, but there's no button to uh, change weapon, like cycle through your weapons. Um, and there are no, you know, kind of updated emulators for it or updated drivers. Plasma is about as good as you get. And, yeah, not even that great. Um, this game has, business. <clears throat> has some hilarious one-liners, but, I don't know, other than the gore factor, there isn't much. I actually got this game for free, um, a long time ago, and I played through, like, the first chapter, and after that, I just got, like, kind of bored. Um, mostly because it's obscenely hard. But there is some hilarity. The screaming never gets old. Um, the only good part about Plasma Pack is, is that normally one bullet, like, pretty much kills you. Break stuff. In the original, you couldn't break all the stuff. You could break, like, the pots, but that was it. Anyway, I'm rambling about this game, because there's a lot to get through. I don't like your painting. Um, it was made by Monolith, which I think they only made, like, four or five games, but this is based off of the Duke Nukem 3D engine, and a lot of people misappropriate it as a Doom clone. Uh, which it is not, because it's based on the whatever, I don't even know what they call it, the Duke Nukem Engine was called, other than the Duke Nukem Engine. Um, but you'll see like some common things, like the switch didn't change from Duke Nukem, and it turns on lights. Uh, the explosions are ripped straight out of Duke Nukem, and so are a lot of the tiles in the game, as you'll notice that a lot of the things look similar to things in Duke Nukem. Uh, which is kind of lame, but what can you expect? Um, I th I'm pretty sure GT, the people who also, GT Interactive, the people who also helped make Hex in a reality, um, they were involved in the Plasma, the Plasma Pack one, which was this expansion, and they fixed a lot of the problems. 
Uh, they sped up gameplay, which is good and bad. Uh, they also made enemies actually miss. And look, I died. Because I blew up for some reason. There's still a lot of times... Ugh, oh, I get so sick of hearing this. I live again. Um, there's a lot of times in this game where it's just annoying more than anything. Um, bosses are nonsensical. Your best bet is to save right before the boss comes out, and then just keep spamming him with stuff. Did I really not hit that guy? Um. Oh yeah, take dynamite to the face and you survive. But normally that hit would have taken me down to like 20 damage or 20 hit points. Um, but in plasma they thankfully fixed that. Um, but anyway, uh, this game surprisingly did not receive a lot of criticism for its gore. Um, Open for business. Most people deadpanned it when it came out. <laughs> and the weapons weapon system is the obnoxious 1 through 0. But to make it even more tedious and annoying, um, they decided also to throw in a complementary, uh, some weapons you have to select. Freakin hit him. Well, it looks like I'm gonna die again. Oh, this game. Um, I live. So, to use some weapons, you actually have to double toggle through a button. So you'd have to press, like, six twice. Now, normally that's not a problem, you know, like alternate fires on some weapons. But, you know, some of it is really annoying because I think Dynamite has four different modes. So you have to switch through them. Uh, one of them, the proximity mode, does not work. Like, I've I've never had it work successfully. Let's see, look at that. Fuck you. Go away. Die. Um, the... The only way you really get health is you either pick up a medical kit like in Duke Nukem or you kill enemies and they have life essences. <sighs> Open for business. I think I'm gonna save right after I kill these bozos. See there we go, much better. Let's save. Let's play. And I can't use an exclamation point. And I have no idea what these cultists say. But for some reason they speak English when they're dying. Um, I don't know. I really think in a way this game was a forerunner to things like Postal, which Postal is awesome. But, I don't know. I didn't really like this game when I was a kid. The only reason I'm picking it is because it's horror-y, gory. And, uh, come on. Punch your head. Jerk. Um, I don't know. And I just, I beat it the other day, which I never beaten it before, so I decided, like, hey, let's just beat this damn game. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for just throwing it right in your face. Stupid freaking moron. Yeah, your character is really not bright. Um, he'll sometimes just throw dynamite at himself. 
you can hold down the button all you want, but... He'll usually hit himself instead. Um, there's also weird moments in the game where you'll go to kill an enemy, but you'll get hurt while you're doing it, and you'll still be alive and you'll still walk around, but you know you can't do anything. Like it, you're basically stuck dead, so to speak. Um, and the only real way is to commit suicide, uh, which is really hard, especially in earlier levels. Uh, another one is, is the auto-aiming. Whoever decided that it was a good idea... Oh, I didn't break that pot. Whoever decided it was a good idea or, like, a good way to do it, it's like Duke Nukem. The biggest problem with Duke Nukem 3D is, is you go to aim for one enemy that's, you know, right in your face... And he'll completely ignore it, and he'll shoot something that's all the way out in the distance and completely miss it. The other problem is, little bitch enemies like that will undoubtedly kill you. I'm 100% serious. And this is a great homage to uh, Return of the Living Dead, where they had a little zombies and cans. Oh, look, he's just hanging out. He's apparently still alive with his neck slit and crucified. Um, but, yeah, sometimes smashing bodies will give you stuff, which is kind of helpful. And I have... I say it's awkward because you can't, like, you can't really move in a circle. You can only pick one direction at a time. Like, you can't go diagonally, uh, which is really, oh my god, so annoying. But, I don't know. This game has a lot of flaws, and it was obviously released way before it was ready. Um, I think it was just like a rush before Duke Nukem lost all of its popularity. But, for whatever reason, I decided to do a Let's Play of it. 